Hello gorgeous people, this is Brad Monk here and we're going to answer some of your questions that you've given to me on Facebook and Instagram. I'm a little bit already in spirit at the moment so that's why I'm like woo. So I've got a little bit ground myself ready for this event. But the connection is good, I've prepared myself. And so I'm going to be looking down at my phone because the questions are on my phone. So don't worry. Um, I'm hoping that all the questions get answered, but sometimes experience is needed, so we have to go with with what we're given, and I'll try and share it with yourselves. I know a lot of people wanted information. After I did the carpool mediumship, wow, it took so much energy out of me, um, which was quite surprising because mediumship doesn't normally, but this is a new direct link that I am actually working on and practicing and trying to get uh, more energy for that. So it was the next day, I had a little bit of a party with my son and afterwards I just totally started to have a bit of a headache from that sort of thing and it would lasted a couple of days. So overdoing it, my own fault. Uh, I learned from that experience and grow as we always do. So let's get down to it. All right, the first question I have is, from Rita Needham, what message do my parents or brother have for me, please? Okay, Rita, so we're looking to ask um, them to come forward, your parents or your brother to come forward. I have got three people here, whether it is your brother or so, I will see. Okay, one of them was showing me a heart condition, one of me, one of them showing cancer. Um, but do realize that I've opened the door so they could all be shouting out but I'm just trying to get the three through the door and to come and sit with me and help me it's much love the first thing they show me is much love going to you they miss a hug they want to share a hug I don't think they were very big huggers but they realized that hug from the spirit world is love so they're sending me that um, strange, but I don't know whether your brother's trying to punch me on the shoulder or that's something he did, but um, he's coming forward. Okay, so what is it? Is there any messages to pass on? Um, they say to me that life's a bit difficult at the moment, all right, but keep plodding on because there's opening. I do see that it's like you're coming out of the woods and all of a sudden a big loads of sunshine for you um, and your connection is going to improve they're saying so um, you can call upon them because obviously they're in in heaven already and so it's easy to to link there was a few things they're saying that um, there was a few things that caused some disturbance between you all but that is now forgotten because over there they can see the bigger picture and understand what the other person was going through and um, which on the earth they, they cannot and because of the emotional turmoil between you all then sometimes that, that got in the way but there's loads of love for you and loads of information is there any sort of like message that, to confirm or, or anything that I can give to her um, tulips from Amsterdam tulips from Amsterdam I've seen a big yellow tulip um, being put forward um, and also the old buttercup things where they used to put under the chin and make you shine because I think they do feel that they want you to smile more you know and um, they they see they're around you um, they're laughing about some plastic flowers not too sure what that's all about to be honest with you as I say I'm a bit rusty on the whole because part of it's going to be mediumship part of it's the direct link to them so um, I'm sort of I'm getting images, so I'm having to come out of the direct link to to get the images uh, through the through the pictures and one thing or another. Um, okay, so any other message that you need to? You talk to them a lot, and they just say to you, they hear, and they want you to know that. And there's loads of love coming to your way, and you and and just chin up and keep going because things are going to change for you. Okay, I was only a short message, but I've got so many to get through, um, but loads of love to you. And um, is there anything else before we go? 
someone's got a pipe out i don't know why i got the pipe out and the garden and because they're showing me compost and mom's trying to push him out of the way to get a message for you and she's just holding onto your cheeks like that mm. and so i don't know what that's all about <laughs> but um okay all right then well thank you very much for sharing spirit world okay uh next one then uh elizabeth warner whatever you would like to know is anybody on the other side in heaven elizabeth warner that wants to come through and talk i have a lady um that's stepping forward what's your name my love i don't know what this family member though because she's saying susan my mom was named susan she's on the earth anyway are you are you a friend of Liz's? A work colleague or something she's saying and she just wants to thank you for all your love and support when you helped her out and one thing and another. Um and you have seen her around and um she just wants to uh share with you in this experience. Um I do feel with yourself that you you're opening up a lot more and um getting a lot more messages. Uh, but this isolation has, has sort of set you back a bit. But don't worry about it. It's all coming good. So just go with the flow uh, and surrender and allow what it is that you're meant to be doing. Because I do feel that you're 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 stepping up two and coming back one because you're thinking too much. You're worrying too much. Just go with it. You know, nothing's bad. Nothing's good. It all it all comes good in the end. But sometimes we have to take those steps um to find the right direction so it's not always plain sailing okay then liz thank you for that let's let's go to sarah who and why sarah brewer here who and why keeps taking things putting them back and the bedroom door hope you are well yes i'm very well sarah thank you um Okay, I'm getting a child uh, uh, that's doing this, playing games. Um, but I'm not too sure whether it's your child or a friend's child. Um, a little boy it was that's been lost. That's on the spirit world. And he's coming having a bit of fun and playing playing games with you at the moment, I'm being told. Um, you might feel him down your left leg. Tinkles down your left leg, I'm being told. Um... He likes to he likes to doodle because all I can see him doodling. Um, okay, it's a strange one, really. All right. Um, so yeah, messing about. Just ask him to bring all the stuff back, and he will do. But he's just letting you know because you you've been asking about spirit world and one thing or another, and uh, obviously they're trying to open you up. Um, okay. All right, all right then, Sarah. Okay, that's passed that one on to you. Thank you very much, Alex, for coming through and sharing with us today. Good, good, good. Sarah Chapman. Hello, Steve Bradshaw. I hope you're keeping well. Yes, I am. Thank you, Sarah. You know, my mum passed weeks ago and hasn't come back to me yet, but has our older daughter. Is there a message for me, please? Many thanks. Okay, Sarah, well, eight weeks is a short time to build the energy up. I feel that our auntie is bringing her forward because she's not quite got the energy. I mean, she was quite a connected soul, I'm being told, but she's not quite. Um, so I don't know who had the walking stick, but it's been brought through. Um, your body's rejecting the connection at the moment with uh, your mom. Uh, because there's still some emotional issues or, or guilt to be left. Um, and I, I'm not saying that, that you've created any guilt or anything like that, but the body in shock goes into sort of guilt mode and emotional mode. And, and so that any, whenever we get connected to those on the other side, then what that happens is that we actually are unable to, to see the, the, the actual situation. Um, I was my nan who died in my arms for three months. I didn't spot her, but she was around all the time. So there is things being moved in this, um, and the smell of plants and one thing and another. I'm getting um, 
um, is it Lily of the Valley? I don't know. I'm not. But there, 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 you might get a smell of perfume around, and that's her around. Um, if you want me to do a connection thing with you to get a symbol so that you know when she's around, I do think she is around, and I do think she's trying to communicate. But the emotional sense is is blocking it at the moment. Um, right, what are you saying, my love? Somebody with the curly hair is saying um, about the funeral, um, thanking you for the funeral. I'm not too sure because they're not showing me whether it was a coffin or, or whether it was um, ashes or whatever. I think it possibly was ashes, but she's not. They're not showing me which one it is. Whether it was the the auntie or the that's bringing her through. Um, you and them. Okay. Um, let me give her energy because she's 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 coming. Th there's two coming through, and that's why the energy is not so. Let's see if we get the. Uh, why don't you just bring her through the direct link? I think because there's still emotions with her, she's not totally 100% gone over at the moment, but she's not far off. But she knows that to, that there's lessons and things still to be learned and experienced. So that's why her energies are not not as 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 connected. Um, but a big thank you, loads of love, misses you loads, um, is is at peace, she wants you to know that she's at peace, may not seem like it was going to happen, but she's, she, um, something to do with the lower bowels, there was a lot of pain there that she, I don't think she told people about, um, she didn't like to make a fuss, I'm being told, and, okay, yeah. So, if you've got a plant in your place, you will see it grow a lot quicker and it will be her feeding the energy to, to make it grow. So every time you look at the plant, um, you will see, you will see her, um, you, will, you will, will think of her. And so that's the way to open up the connection and to get loads of love from her. Okay, Sarah, thank you. For coming through, thank you, Auntie, for coming, bringing her through, um, and much love. But it'll get clearer soon. Don't worry. Within a week or two, you 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 will release the the guilt and the and the emotions which is which is causing it. There's a roundabout a situation about her passing that's that's causing a bit of um, uh, trouble at the moment. Okay, all right then, Sarah. Thank you very much for asking for that question. Um, I know you've been in a lot of pain because I've seen it on. I keep sending uh, angels to help you at this difficult time. So good luck, and I hope that helped. Mandy Moo, it's coming up to a year that my dad passed away. Is um, is Mr. Merritt around, or Mandy Moo is asking for a father? Has he got anything to tell you? Okay, come on then. Right, there's a gentleman stepping forward. I'm not guaranteeing that he's your dad. Because he's not actually talking to me yet. He's quite a quiet chap. Um, until you get him going, he's he's laughing about. Uh, he's proud of you. Um, proud for all the things that you've done, and um, with the kids and everything. Um, because you have gone through some difficult times, but you, you keep plodding on. Um, he's learned a bit more when he's over there about the things that you've gone through, and didn't realise because you kept them to yourself. Um, but he just wants to give you a big hug, which is love from from the spirit world. Um, and um, he's laughing about having a drink on his birthday. Uh, don't get down. I'd rather you have a drink and enjoy life and remember the good times. He says, "I know there wasn't always good times, and that's sometimes he says something to do with him and himself. But that's the way life treats you sometimes, you know." You get caught up in your own thoughts and ideas and you get quite selfish when he just wants you to know that deep down he always loved you and always wanted to, to care for you and uh, not that he always did um, because he couldn't care for himself sometimes. Okay, especially with his illness and one thing or another. So loads of love to you. Mandy is coming your way. You do feel him around you, uh, especially near the back door. I don't know why he was that. Who used to smoke at the back door? I don't know. He's telling me someone's smoking at the back door or 
or smoke at the back door or whatever. I don't quite understand that. But the, a lot of energy there anyway near the back door. Okay, then. Um, thank you very much for coming through. Um, I hope that was a little message, but it, it helped out. Okay. Um, Louise Reed. Does my 21-year-old son have a message for me? He passed away when he was 21. Forever young. Okay, there's a there's a there's a lad coming through on his bike. <laughs> I don't know why representing of his bike, but he's coming through on his bike, and um, he laughs about he's having a whale of a time. He tells me what a whale of a time he is. I do not know, but he says I'm having a whale of a time. He says over here, um, he he was he says to me I was too much to handle in this world. Um, but he understands now and misses you loads and he says I'm playing my part over here and I'm helping a lot of people out um, he did some a lot of silly stuff he's saying um, but he's quite adventurous and quite wanting to get out there and do stuff do you know what I mean sort of thing I mean sometimes don't get me wrong he, he got quite paranoid with the stuff and um, so he stayed in and a lot at times but most of all he was at one time a very um jolly lad but some traumatic event um i don't know whether it's to do a car or his friend in a car or something just offset him and got him down and one thing or another so loads of love to you um he is around but like you say he's doing loads of work over there and helping people out and um his life is uh he says better, but he misses the family and himself loads. And part of him's like 50 50 on which side he'd like to be on. So, um, and he's sorry. He's sorry that he's not been able to help you through these difficult times. Um, but he is, he is around and much love to you. Okay, all right then. Well, that was a, that was a bit of a sad one. But this is how life is. Life carries on on the other side, and you'll be together one day soon in the future. Um, he laughs because he says that you can mother me again. He says, Ah, cheeky sod. <laughs> okay. Mandy Wild, the wonderful Mandy Wild, lovely lady. Uh, when family home be sold, and um, romance. Woo. Okay. Two or three months on the family home. Um, there's some issue with some pipes or something that will come to light. But they will get sorted soon. Um, um, I'm showing some negativity, but you're 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 a connected soul, so you would have picked up on that. So I think it's more to do with the right hand side. So it's probably next door more than yours. Maybe a cleanse your place and cleanse the, the one on the right because there's something cracking off there because I'm getting a lot of negativity to the right. I'll put abundance in the front of the house to help bring people in. Um, but there is a couple for the place I haven't seen in two to three months and that will bring you a lot of peace. Uh, Romance wise, um, I've got a lady stepping forward to say you're a bit fussy when it comes to you men. <laughs> well, why, why not be? Okay. There is somebody out there for you, but I'm being told there's still still some work to do on yourself. And that doesn't mean that you haven't done because you have, you're quite you're very connected. The energy is good. I can feel that as well. Um but there is a there seems to be a brick wall around the heart uh which you expect uh people to take down and the, the ones that take them down is obviously not the ones that will bring happiness and joy so go for the ones that bring peace to your life um i am seeing i think it's all happening so i think once you sell the house i think then you will uh meet somebody friendship to start off with and then eventually we'll, we'll 
or blossom but they're the person in question isn't quite totally come out of a relationship at the moment and so it's just a, a matter of patience until that person shows are you giving me a name at all not really not really something beginning with b brian i think no go on no i don't know i want good information don't don't just shout out names because the door's open okay well it'll be a friend who, who introduces you anyway i'm being told so look out for that uh and good luck in the romance all right then so next one on the on the thing my phone's gone a little bit funny oh i'm on to the next page already joanne furness joanne hi joanne you're all right um can you ask if anyone has any guidance for me at the moment please okay joanne let me just ask who's coming through the door anybody got guidance I think this is going to be universal guidance. I don't think this is actually a spirit world coming through. I think this is universal guidance. You seem to be your own worst enemy, I'm being told. Um, you have so much to give and so much to experience. Um, you have great energy, great person. Um, it seems like there's loads of doors closed at the moment for you. They say to me, you've just not chosen the right door at the moment, okay? Um, but that will come. Follow your heart um, because you have the worries of the money as well as uh, being quite spiritual and connected. And it's hard to, to put them together at the moment, um, which will be done. But they're just saying that the doors that you're opening are through your financial at the moment rather than your spiritual at the moment but there will be one that's both for you um so look out for that one um i'm not saying take every opportunity but sometimes one opportunity leads to another opportunity it may not seem right at the time but it might lead to something that that is right okay because it, it looks like there's a job opportunity that will then turn into another job opportunity. Okay, um, and that's September time. I'm being told on that one. Um, a little bit more up your street. Um, but as far as the spiritual, they're saying you, you, you've got a lovely connection. Um, you don't always do it. You, um, you fight yourself on it. You want to be perfect when you do it. And it doesn't work that way because it's variable, the information. And so they're saying to yourself, just go within, find what makes you tick, what makes you happy, and then more will open up for you and more people will come into your life. Okay then, Joanne, no problem at all. Okay, next one is Tammy Wright. Hello, Tammy, lovely lady. I remember doing a house cleanse for you once upon a time, long time ago. I've just got rid of the page. This is what happens when you, you mess. Okay. I will be two seconds when I'm just sorting this out. Do 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 do. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. This is where I should have put some music on, really, but. Okay, all right then. Sarah Smith, does anybody want to send me any messages? Not had a reading for a while, so anything would be lovely. Thank you. Okay then, Sarah, let's just ask if there's anybody step through. I have a lady on mother's side of the family, I think. Do 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 do. She's laughing because she's just showing you knocking your head against a brick wall or a door or something. Uh huh. It's, it's like that you get so connected and then you get frightened by the connection and then you come away from it and then you want to go back to it. It's like this never ending fight with yourself. Um, and they're just saying, just chill. Enjoy and chill. Let it, let it happen. Stop fighting it because you have the ability, you have the connection, 
you just need to 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 go with it um Uh, now I can't mention that because I've seen it on Facebook. So, okay. Uh, <laughs> right. Just, just enjoy. Really, it. One of the kids needs a little bit more help and support at the moment. A little bit worried about um, what they're going to do at school and stuff. But everything will work out. Everything's going to fall into place. Um, but don't worry don't worry keep doing what you're doing because you, you've actually seen your energy has changed to for good so that's good so things are seem to be happening for you um, and so there's not really much of a message really I'm sorry but you have to probably get down to Donna again and get, get a reading at some point um, but you don't need one until September I'm being told so that's up to you, uh, whenever you feel like it. But at the moment, I just keep going and keep focusing on what you're doing and everything will start to fall into place for you. All right. Sorry about that. A bit, a bit quick, but um, um, all for a reason, I see. Okay. Right then. Uh, anything for me? Promotion here or leave? Jay Messenger. Hi, Jay. Hey dear mate. Um, I think because of everything is in turmoil, Jai, at the moment, um, not to focus on work, not to focus on on anything but just you and more inner voice work on being told with yourself. Um, because you, you get to a point where you're happy for a little bit in your job and then all of a sudden it seems to go pear-shaped. Um, they're saying to me, You've got to have refocus on what you want and then get a job around that. Um, because one day you want to help the world, one day you want to help yourself, one day you want to do this, want to do that. Um, and I think you were like this as a kid because they say to me that um, you're always swapping and changing, you always have done. And I think you've just got to find what. It, don't don't look at what's on the outside influences. Look what the inside influences, because your inside is reflecting on your outside. So your insecurities and fears inside are being reflected through work and one thing and another. Um, there's a lot of good things happening around you, and I know you want to protect your family and everything like that, and be secure and one thing and another, but. I'm being told money will always come in, jobs will always come in, and now it's more of a time that you've you've got the experience, you've got the understanding, you've got the opportunities. So the only person that's stopping it at the moment is yourself, because you've got to change your focus on what you want, so the universe can align with you. Um, I'm seeing a big smile from somebody about your daughter and and the family and and. How much you've you've come on as a person and a man, and I'm very proud of you. It's a gentleman figure that's coming through. Um, not always saw eye to eye, but your heart is in the right place. So you just wanted to to say that. Okay. All right then. All right then. Okay, that's a quick one. I'm sure you'll book me for one later on, but. Um, <laughs> All right then. Okay, Kathy Carpenter. Any general message of guidance for these troubling times and the rest of the year? Okay, let me ask. Well, on my personal note, I feel this is is and this is my own sort of what's been channeling at the moment because you mentioned about the world. Um, inner work is the key, and you will know all about Kathy about inner work and energies and one thing or another. But inner work is the, is seems to be the key that everybody needs at the moment. The connection. We're losing our senses. We're losing our chakras. We have no way for our body to release the energies and with all the toxins and the and, and everything that's happening. And so now is a time for more to be awakened to to the connection to help them on their journeys. You personally, 
um, amazing energy, amazing person. Um, I've been a bit sad lately, I'm being told. Get that spark back, get that want back, that what you enjoy, and keep keep going, keep keep sharing the love because that's what you're you're good at. Keep um, helping people. To, I mean, it's uh, at the moment it's very hard because the energies of the world are not good at the moment. So, and being an empath like you are, you're picking up on that. So, regular cleansing in nature. Um, I've got meditations for that as well. I'll put up a link to on this page, but really it's we've got to stop we've got to learn to stop feeding the negative because it will create more negativity and at the moment so many people are in pain and triggered so many people are worried and feared that they're all going into warrior mode and they're all wanting to fight because they can't they can't release this energy anymore. Uh, through the natural ways that we did, through interaction with people, uh, through all the, this thing. And I think that um, even though Facebook and everything is marvellous and magical place to share, um, it's it's still that, 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 that connection with each other that is, is needed, the communities and everything. So maybe we need to start up little groups again and, and, and share in the experience. Okay then, no worries. Um, Amelia Marsh Wardle Is everything we want to do Friday a good idea? Well, it's Sunday So um, I think it wasn't your first choice But your second choice worked out I'm a bit late letting you know um, But I think next week Next week is going to be a big one There's something Big coming around for you to experience uh, as a family, and I think that will be good. And um, I'm seeing tickets on the table, so there's some event that you should enjoy and, and, and go to. But I do feel with you that there's always something going on or always something for you to do, so um, I think your life will be opening up more. Um, and I feel good energies with the family. So, yeah, brilliant. All right, then. Um, I'll tell you who's next on my agenda. Uh, Anita. I meet a spirit lady in the woods. Oh, yes, I, I replied to this, didn't I? Hearing a voice in my ear saying, pretend you don't see her. Like I said to you, there's loads of rescue work at the moment. I'm getting people tapping like mad, wanting me to send people over wanting to help out um and a lot of the some of the woods are visited as well there's been a few deaths and a few suicides at the moment um so if someone's telling you not to get connected it may be that you're not in a place um to deal or to help these people at the moment you're shining a big beacon at the moment which you will attract spirit world but you still have a choice whether to experience or not i'm not saying don't help them what i'm saying to you is Make sure your energy is right before you get involved in any of that sort of work. Because you, even with spirit world, you're, you're absorbing energies that, that can affect yourself and make you down. And, and if you've already got a lot on your plate and a lot of energies, and you, you know, the one thing that a guy said to me once, and I always live by this, if you can't get out of bed yourself, you can't help anybody else. So sometimes we have to... We have to take time out for ourselves and get us right or or to enjoy life or to be connected or one thing or another before we can go and share in the experience. So that's what I say to you at the moment. That's why I've got my waterfall behind me. So regular cleansing for me and regular cleansing, meditations, sitting in nature. And then if you want to go into rescue work, if you want me to teach you about rescue work and sending people over, I've done thousands and thousands of and even some big massive sites where there's plague victims and everything so um it, it's a thankless job but also a beautiful job helping those lost souls that still are connected to the earth and are struggling to move over but you've got to be careful because i mean like there was an event i did i think it was about years ago or something where it was 
a little girl pretended that she was in trouble and people all could see her and this, that, and the other. And in the end, it was a witch actually trying to get people to go into the woods and and because a lot of the the young witches are not always doing the old ways and the old witches need the energies and so they need um, some victims or or energies to come to to be able to feed off to to keep their energies going so i'm not saying all witches like that please there's a lot of nature witches there's a lot of uh, nature people there's a lot of good and bad all i'm saying to you is that sometimes there's places like a place that we visited where they took over a few of our members and it was quite scary to see uh, in the faces um, but yeah not all not all energies in woods and everything are actually needing help and so maybe that's why you was put off a bit okay right then uh, next one i'm not doing so well with this phone i keep mm, tapping it pepe how you doing matey all right does anyone have a message for me or, or steve okay all right okay i do think you'll be visiting back to the uk um in a little while uh, so i'd love to meet up with you both of you um and i like your energies i think going away was really good but you still have some worries back here on one thing or another but i do feel that you're starting to to get a rhythm in life and even though the odd moments are troubling you um between you you've got great thoughts and ideas and and i i think you're a great team and i do believe that you can get through anything it's not always been plain sailing um but at the moment i do feel good energies with you and it will be getting better um there is still going to be a little bit of worry in your area um but eventually you'll all get through this and this is where your both your healing abilities will will help out just being you guys you know what i mean fun loving guys that that you know i enjoyed time with and i hope to see you in the future okay cool right then pippa jones uh can't quite read this pippa uh Pippa Jones, let's see if there's, if there's anybody in the spirit world. I think you want to speak to your dad. Let's see if they can come through. Come on, brother, open the door. Let's see. There's quite a strong uh, stand-up figure, well-dressed, um, coming forward. Something to do with the chest, I'm seeing. Are you grandfather or are you father? Or uh, I think they're both coming. I think father... Dad's coming through now, racing on the back. I think first one was grandfather, uh, and he's, he's coming through. Um, I think you can communicate with him anyway, so it's not like I'm sort of like giving you anything new, really. Uh, there's a picture of him, and there's a picture of granddad as well. Um, okay. Um, much love to you. Much pride to you. Um, I'm getting a lot of cloudiness around the head. Um, so I'm going to send an angel to clear that up with yourself. Um, so there must be, I think there's the odd bouts of confusion with yourself. Um, vitamin D for some reason, they're telling me. Um, all right, go on then. See, I always go, if you notice sometimes that I go, it's because I listen with my right ear more than on my left. Um, and so I get them to come and stand next to me and talk. Okay. Um, <laughs> they're both fighting over speaking to you. I think they both um, had a connection with yourself and just want to say everything's okay. And there's a little child as well, girl around them i don't know who that is whether that's just popped in to say hello um 
but they're giving me fireworks, which is a good sign. Um, that's a sign of a celebration around you very shortly and an anniversary around you. And they just want to send you loads of love. And they want you to find a bit more peace in your life. Um, they joke about being a bit of a bull in a china shop. Um, and once you, you get your head down, there's no stopping you. So just look outside the box. They're telling me not everything is what you perceive it to be. But um, they're always there for you. Um, writing, I can see when you're writing stuff down. And that message just gets imprinted to them. They like that. They like it when you write little, write stuff down. Um, so if you want to do them a letter, and that letter will be will be sent to them, and they'll receive it in the spirit world. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. Uh, I hope that little bit of information helped out. Uh, Jackie Di Mario, does any of my family have a message for me, Steve? Thank you. Okay, let's have a look, Jackie. Um, I got three on the other side. They're not coming through the door though. I don't understand what that's all about. Um, have you got a message for Jackie? Chin up, chest out. <laughs> not too sure what that means. Um, a lot of confusion with them at the moment. Um, there's things that should be said but didn't get said. And they're just on about that they want you to find peace at this time. And, and don't always look into the past because the past creates your future. And dwelling on the past doesn't help anybody. Um, they're learning what they've been through, these three people, um, and what they caused and what effect they had. And they don't want you to take on the emotions of what they had and, and recreate it. Because there, there's, there seems to be conflict with the family and now they've realized what it was all about and the insecurities and fears and the, the wants and the needs are not as important now that they're over and it's all about the children and the future they're telling me so much love goes to you um, and they can truly say that now um, and they just want you to be happy so that is it and I think it was a lady and two uh, two gentlemen. Um, bronchitis. Um, okay. All right. Brilliant. Thank you very much for sharing with me. All right. Uh, let's check it. Aubrey. Aubrey, I'm going to have to probably do yours. Um, I'm going to send an angel to bring peace at the moment. Um because you're, you, there's a lot of fighting going on. So I need to probably do your PM yourself rather than on here. So I will personal message you on that one. Okay. Um, uh, Tanneth Montgomery. For me, please. <laughs> okay. All right, then. Let's see what information we have. Um, there's a lady on mother's side coming through. Um She's prim and proper. Um, not really talking much though. Um, have you got a message for you? She's saying that you need a man. <laughs> I don't think she really does, but okay. Okay, being told that you're looking in the wrong areas. You need a proper man like an army man or something, I don't know why she's saying that. There's somebody's car door going there. So is that a sign or a symbol? I don't know. Um, I think in the next two months, um, a gentleman, uh, a peaceful gentleman is going to come into your life. Um, it's going to be a bit prim and proper, but he will turn out to be quite an exciting chap to be with. And it's maybe not sort of the person that you would go for. Um, not to say that you haven't got anybody now, but they're just saying that this person is on the way to bring peace to your life. 
for the future. Because um, I've seen two or three around you that, that um, not the best of energy, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm not saying they're not nice people, but they're not fulfilling the needs or or, or sharing an experience that you need to, to share in. So this is more future. Uh, this gentleman's going to come through. And I think friendship first and then eventually. Uh, Mark, is it Mark? Name? Um, or well, begins with M. Um, a lot of turmoil with you. A lot of upset. There's still some deep rooted stuff to be cleared out. Um, I'm getting throat area because my throat's starting to go. That needs clearing out. So throat checker. So blue would be good for you to wear. Um, you do speak your truth. Uh, but sometimes that's a cost to yourself as well. It's hard when we get wrapped up in, in, in certain situations to be able to see the woods for the trees. Um, and so they're saying step back, allow the situation to, to show, and then hopefully it will um, get sorted. Because I still think there's two areas of your life that needs to be sorted um, that's causing you upset at the moment. But you're getting there. You're getting there. Okay, cool. All right, then. Let's move on. Um, Diane. Thanks. I need all the help I can get. Life is up in the air. People are helping me. But time is of the essence. Thanks. With you, Diane, I'm being told that you've got to cut ties, emotional ties. That's what's keeping you bogged down. That's keeping you making decisions and not working in the right direction. It's not all about you. I don't mean it's your fault or anything like that. But there is, it's like they're putting two opportunities on the table. And at the moment, your energies are not able to accept the, the true course of what you needed, your part to play. And so they're saying to me that you just need to, you just need to cleanse yourself, meditate, find the time, because I know you're a busy person. And eventually then everything will fall into place. Don't listen to every single person that gives you advice, but know 5% of what they say. So it, it, it might not be the whole picture of what they say, which is important. It might be just a little part of it. So it's very important for you at the moment to, to, to render and just sit back and allow everything to start to flow in your path to show and, and everything. And then you'll be able to see exactly what you need to do. I do feel somebody around you is going to show the true colours. And so that is going to make your decisions for you. Okay, brilliant. Thank you. I hope that's helped. Right, Samantha Christine. Hello, Samantha. Lovely lady, lovely energy. What type of mediumship do should I do? Cards, stand up, trance or something else? Uh, Samantha, you have so much knowledge and so much information, and I think that you confuse yourself, to be quite honest with you. You're more of a healer, and you can do mediumship with healing. There's a way to do that. Some people ignite people to heal themselves. Some people are able to do the energy work from the hands, which you could do quite easily. Um, mediumship is basically a conversation with another person, and relieving their their energies on what's causing problems so it doesn't really matter which mediumship that you do i mean channeling is quite a good part of mediumship because you're getting insights to share with people to help themselves and one thing or another um if if the medium i always say to people if you're not doing mediumship then you're not doing mediumship it doesn't mean you're not a medium it just means that the opportunities to be a medium are not for you at the moment. So, just say to the universe, what am I meant to be doing? Just show me and then just go with it. And even if it's just like healing to start off with that turns into mediumship, it might be that way. It, Spirit will guide me. I've gone from healing to mediumship, um, to using tools, tutorial, to creating my own vibrational healing, to, to all sorts of things, to 10-year soul searching, understanding the vibrations and the, the connections and the traumas and the past life and everything. You know, but without the whole of that journey, 
I wouldn't be the person I am now. So you, that's the enlightenment part is that you understand that a whole of the journey is the journey that you're meant to be on. And so I always said, well, why didn't I use my mediumship earlier? Why was I in the churches? I mean, I had a son at 30, so it was a case that basically I couldn't do some of the churches. But every time I went back and did my little stand-up or whatever, they were always asked to go in on the platform, but it just didn't work out. So now I know that it was meant to, I meant to find out about all the other stuff. I was meant to be able to, to learn how to teach. I was meant to be um, finding my own way to speak to spirit and channel through information. And so, um, stop putting the pressure on yourself. I know you're a hard worker. Um, I know that you, you want it now, but that stops the flow. What will be, will be. If it happens, it happens. And then you'll understand, because they say to me you could do it all. But to focus on one area is stopping the flow in other areas, if you see my point. Mediumship is only a small aspect of the whole, a whole journey. There's one thing I've learnt, you know, and so just go with it. Are you practicing mediumship? Are you doing the packs? Are you experiencing it? Have you got a diary to make notes of ideas and thoughts that come out of nowhere? You know, this is all mediumship. There's signs all around you all the time. But a lot of us are closed down because we're so focused on, on living and the experience that we don't realise that we're being guided. You know, spirit can't communicate with you if you're not allowing them to. So if they uh, make a tingle or something happens and opens you up, then that's when, you know, you've got to agree to it. You know, so you can do mediumship quite easily. But you have so much experience in the healing side. Um, so combining the two would, would really work well for you. Um, and a lot of the times even in just a conversation with somebody, is healing, is mediumship. Why don't I do readings now? Because the information I share with people is more beneficial than the wants and needs of what people want in a reading. Because their wants and needs are, are tend to be ego-based and human-based, and I'm spiritual-based. Mine's more about guiding, so they won't accept the information, and yet it is beneficial to them. And so you've just got to find your area of sharing and playing your part of being who you are. And then you'll realise that you've been doing it all this time. You know, a mechanic that loves fixing cars is part of the universe. You know, he's doing healing on dogs one thing or another. So just because you're not utilising it in a medium sense doesn't mean that you're not actually working with it. Okay. I'm just checking to make sure and I'm still going. All right, then. Next one. Next one. Da, 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 da. Wendy Eastwood. Wonderful, Steve. I've done a lot of rescue work. I just wish I had a wonderful spiritual deep trance medium like the one I had, but he moved away. Wendy, it's time. You know, like they say about a bird that needs to fly, you've got to find your own way. I know you like working with other people. I know you like learning from other people. But they want you, because your rescue work has been doing so well lately, they want you to do it on your own now. It's time to fly the nest. You don't need anybody else. Other people will come in to help you, but you don't need them. So they're just saying to me, it is time for you to fly the nest and go and do it yourself. And that's basically it. That's what they're saying. Okay. Margaret Baird. Okay, Margaret. Let's see what the universe and... and, and oh, somebody's dancing. <laughs> I don't know what sort of message that is, but someone is dancing. Okay, not the best singers. I do apologise for that. Um, Margaret, it's time to have fun, time to dance, time to let go, time to be who you are. 
It, we the, the universe needs you, Margaret. We need you to shine your light. I know that you've got a lot of resistance at the moment, but don't worry, that will soon start to fade away. When you find your inner self, when you love yourself, when you understand that you, your light is there at the tunnel for people to follow. They might fight you on it, they might want to stop the light, but you just keep being you and everything is going to work out. I'm really getting a big sunshine for the next two months, which is a sign for me that everything is really going to shine for you in the next two months and you're going to find your way. Um, get back, I don't mean volunteer work as such, but that sort of thing, you know, being of service, that's it, that's all. I want you to be a service, I want you, and I know that you are, I know you've done loads and it's not always been good for you, but I think you're going to free yourself up more so that when you're being a service this time, you're not going to be so affected by the emotions and the negativity that you have been absorbing. Do be careful, you're an empath, so you do take energies off people, um, but it's time to shine. And so that is the message, that is what they're saying, the universe is saying that. I mean, a lady's saying that, but she's not saying, she won't talk to me or tell me who she is, so I can't really pass that message on. Okay. All right, then. Um, Susan Bradshaw. <laughs> Here we go. I want to know about the importance of Trinity in our little lives and souls and receiving of breath from spirit. Okay. Um, I have not got a clue what this is. So I'm going to have to tune in and open the door and see if we've got an expert. They're highlighting the breath for me. Okay. They're highlighting the breath for me. I do not know about the Trinity. So you may need to teach me on that. But the breath is the breath is when you first awaken from being a baby. And also the last breath of when you leave. So the Trinity or the the let's just make sure i've got this right what they're saying the connection of the souls is the breath okay right come on then it's like the everything started from an explosion so everything started from a breath, you know, like a baby and everything. So with the Trinity or what they they seem to be telling me is that breath is in everything, energy is in everything. And when we understand that, then it's like taking the breath. It's like taking your first breath is 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 the connection. It's like you're being switched on. It's like you're being connected totally. So, I think what they're trying to say, and I might be wrong on this because I'm not. I'm not the expert. I'm going off their their thoughts and ideas and everything. Is that if you're talking of the circle, the complete circle, there is no complete circle because the breath and the breath is all one. And so. It's like when you switch something on and it stays on, you know, it's it's still there. But we don't think about it or we don't quite understand it because we're too busy on the journey to recognize the breath or the or the. They're saying to me that you, you was I've always been connected and it's only your thoughts that's taken you away from the connection. And even though your illnesses have taken you away in a lot of it, there's never have been. The illnesses was because the shutting down was only a human form. Too much energy was being used and the body couldn't handle it. So the illness was created for that reason. But there is another way, which is what I'm working on at the moment, if we connect through the energy that's within us all, and only that energy, so not your emotional side, not your even the unconditional love side, but there's an energy that if we if we trace through that energy to everything, 
then you'll find the one breath, the one connection, the oneness, which is the cure. And so your peace of mind will only come when you you allow this connection to be part of you and part of everything. On a human experience, we are just experience, just a journey. But on this on this connection, we are part of everything, even the nothing. And so, the breath is just life. That's what they're saying. You'll need to talk to me further on this one because I'm probably, when I'm talking to you, I will get better connection and understanding of it because I really haven't got a clue what they're on about or the question, really. I'll be honest. <laughs> but that's the greatest, the, the greatest thing that we have with my mother because that is my mother's question is that we're able to bounce ideas and thoughts and and look at different ways of looking at things and then the energies mix and then that's when things come together okay cool all right um da -da -da. Debs, 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 Debs. too many questions and too many people to ask so if you fancy you having a listen from well I have to say, I know that your father is in in, in heaven. Um, he actually bothered me the other day when I was driving up to um, to see Lucas. Um, I always know because he has his symbol for me um, is his smile and his laugh, and it's it gets me every time he does it, and he comes in with this sort of um, <laughs> he winds you up without winding you up if I can say that you know but in a real good way do you know what I mean and he pops in from time to time um, and helps me with my father and also um, big hug and a big glass uh, and He's just so proud of the family. And it's sorry that you may not feel him all the time because there is he's seen the sad points and one thing or another. But he's just so proud that you, the person you've become. And I can see that in, in all the things that you do. You just you and your family love life and it and, and it's amazing to watch. And so the one thing that came to me the other day when I was sitting in my car and I was channeling through heaven is that and i think this this relates to yourself is that you've got to remember that just because they're not here doesn't mean they're not watching the movie of you and so all the things that you do can be accessed and so feeling or the the or getting the energy of what you're going through is is passed on to them as well they're still connecting on the unconditional love and a little bit of the emotion side because you know family members that's how we learn things and we learn about our traumas of past lives and and programmings and stuff and we're still connected that's why spirit world and around um he's giving you a red rose as well so that normally means a celebration but i think he wants to give you a red rose um he says that by you putting the red rose in the ground or a flower in the ground it's like him do you know what i mean it's going to grow it's going to blossom and you nurture it love it and everything like that and that's how he feels with you um he's saying it's not wasn't always you know brilliant but you always had that laugh as he has and that's why I noticed with your smiles and stuff. Um, it's just the, 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 the joy of life, really, um, which is a common sharing of all. And he, he just, the, um, he's, he is saying that he's the youngster of you two girls. Um, 
just needs a little bit more love and support at the moment. She's she's worried about something at the moment, but not in a bad way, because I think she's quite strong in nature and can deal with it herself, but she's thinking about things um, with deaths and one thing or another, and maybe just a big bit of one-to-one -one time, getting to see what her joys are and stuff, because um, there's odd moments, but so proud, loves you loads, misses you loads, wish he was there, but he is there, and if you can call upon him, he'll come, and send his love to his partner, and and he just wants to, to let you know that life is everlasting, and one day you'll all be together again, you know, but make that a long time, he says. Because I've still got a nice video that I watch every day of all the fun that you and your family have. And that makes me happy. Okay, very cool. All right, Debs. Well, if you ever want to one-to-one -one with me, let me know. Because, you know, I don't mind. It's part of what I do. You know, people should use my services more, <laughs> I suppose. Or why not you learn to do it yourself? wouldn't take i can i did a session last night 10 minutes i got this guy who's been awakening two years ago and basically um i got him to connect in 10 minutes and get a message from spirit and i love doing that and that's what i'm going to be looking to do in the future more energy exchange so anybody watches my videos or shares my videos i'm going to put a list of things um or comments on my videos or, uh, and one thing or another um i will do some energy exchange so i know a lot of people can't afford everything at the moment we all we're all in a sort of place so we can help each other out by maybe creating some some energy exchanges that we can do i want to do like a wednesday night and a sunday where we share with the world and everything and help out but at the moment i've been put off that a little bit because connecting to the world at the moment is the, the energies is just too much for even me sometimes so but i will be putting out that say for example you want your aura cleansing or you want your chakras doing or you want your family cleansing or a house cleansing or or learn something or maybe do a competition at the end of the month where basically you have a you can go into a draw to to maybe have a one-to-one -one session with me mediumship healing um actually getting a message from spirit um and you i've probably put down that if you just i don't know if you found i don't know 15 i might put some in my videos start putting secret words and if you find 15 of them then or challenges or whatever to be part of that draw but basically just by commenting and, and sharing and stuff or and whatever i would have a certain sort of like energy exchange for doing that because um, it will help me and my 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 videos and one thing or another uh, to have people uh, uh, connecting with me and sharing with me and so we can help each other out because at the end of the day I've been given this gift to be able to help other people and I, okay I've studied and, and gone through a whole life of it but at the end of the day it is a gift that I like to share but the, in mediumship it's just the gift of the message that is more important than than everybody proving or whatever okay so my last one is the lovely annette this lady i love to bits uh she's been on my course and she is will be one day amazing medium when she dies decides to get off a bum and do it okay annette uh will i ever find my keys well, the keys will turn up and they will come back um the person in question which is i sort of hinted at um who's hiding the keys was basically um to do with a key ring or something um and to uh, let you know the lovely loads and also the happy that you're happy and that you have a, a wonderful person to share life with as you did before when he was passed on so i think you knew that anyway i'm not telling you anything that you don't know because you're very connected and you could do mediumship quite easily but that is what i'm the information i've been getting through for you okay gang well god blimey how long i've been going one hour and nine minutes so i'm gonna have to call it a day i hope it helped 
hope it gave you the insight. It was a little bit different to what I anticipated. I was mainly trying to, because I was starting to get this link to, to sort of heaven, um, I was mainly, people were coming through and giving me from, I mean, I had a doctor yesterday that was giving me all sorts of ideas, but the phone went into meltdown because I was in the car. And so I missed about three or four of the spirit messages that I'd actually thought I was recording at the time, but actually because I couldn't really see the screen, the screen was like overheating, so it didn't actually record any of it. And one of my friends who came on volunteer work and when I was at the football club, actually came through and spoke to me and I wished I had caught that on, on film because that lady was an inspiration for me. She was in a wheelchair, she wanted to do everything herself. She loved Derby County and she asked if she could do come and do some volunteer work. And I was like, hell yeah, of course you can. What you know? And she loved the two weeks. And she died three, three, three four months later. And her mum came up to me and thanked me because she, her memories and, and what she talked about were those two weeks that we all had fun um, in my office. And... I just thought I was just being me, you know. I wasn't doing anything special. I, we treat the people as we see them, and she, but such an amazing lady. I, you know, she wouldn't let me put the chair on a on a car. She she was so independent, and and but a mum told me later. I didn't even know this at the time. I didn't know any of this sort of information. She only supposedly had a, a certain amount of time um, to live, and. Um, and she touched my heart, you know, because even she knew that she wasn't going to be around as as much as everybody else. But she goddamn lived life and and she just totally opened my eyes to another world. Okay, well, lovelies, I'm going to get off here. I'm going to stop boring you. Thank you. It's Brad Monk over and out. And uh, please comment, please share, please get involved. If you have any more questions for the future or... Mainly, I was hoping that uh, there were some questions for, you know, what heaven was like and this and the other, but that didn't seem to be, it maybe seemed that all you guys needed your help at this time, which I know it's difficult and everything happened. I hope I've been able to do that. Um, and um, yeah, thank you very much and speak to you soon.